Okay, well we poured today. There's the queen bee, my son James. <laughs> the uh, concrete company from Grangeville, Idaho, the, they were really impressed with the way that we did the forms. They couldn't believe that this is the first time we ever did anything like this. He, he said this is old school and uh, that this foundation is really, really robust. Took about uh, 17 yards of concrete um, for this 24 by 36 inch stem wall that I got. Uh, the footers are 26 inches wide and, and 14 inches deep. Uh, we'll backfill everything. But it, it came out really, really well. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm starting to take out the, the supports. Um, I'm just going to cut the, cut the supports off instead of leaving a hole. I was going to take them off while it was still green and then just pull them out. But I, after talking to the guy that brought the concrete in, he says, just cut them off down at the base. It's better to have that than an open hole. So we poured it all in one pour, footers and stem wall. Um, so it's going to be a real, real solid foundation for our cabin. Um, we used uh, Simpson's Strong Ties all the way around, right there. Little wedges to hold everything together. Um, got a little blowout on the footers, but that's to be expected. We struck it off. It's pretty clean down through there. Look how clean. I got this idea from Dave uh, Osland, I think his name is, off of YouTube. But it looked really good, really clean. Uh, I kind of patterned it after how he um, was was doing it, how he did it. So uh, right down the middle at the 12 foot mark, um, I wet set in some supports for the interior post. I put four by fours in there and then I'll, I will uh, uh, put a four by six down the middle but everything's coming along pretty good. Looks a little ugly right now, but I'll take the forms off tomorrow and I'll show you what it looks like. But again, you know, only took us, uh, took us two days, my brothers and I, to form this all up, two full days. And then um, took us about two and a half hours to pour this all with concrete. We started out with the footers and we worked our way from the back around uh, top the footers off and then the second truck came in and we put the stem wall we ended up having about <laughs> three yards too much and so I poured a pad over here that I'll I'll park my camper on um, so you know that way it wouldn't go to waste but I'll park the camper on that once it sets up in a couple weeks next thing is dude like I said pull the forms off uh, tomorrow um, and then I will uh, wait about a week, backfill, put a French drain in around it. It's kind of wet back here in that corner, so I'm going to put a French drain all the way around and I'll drain it back over here on the other side of my brother's camper. Keep water away from it. On the interior, I'm going to fully encapsulate it. I didn't put a crawl space on the outside. I'm going to fully encapsulate and access through a uh, um, door in the in the floor in the bedroom corner of the bedroom so I'm gonna next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a 20 mil vapor barrier in here tape it up put uh, two inch foam insulation all the way around the stem wall once it's exposed and uh, we'll go from there then we'll start uh, laying the land the um, land the flooring this, so anyhow, I came, think it came really, came out really, really well. Um, I'm gonna use all these two by tens for the floor joists. Um, I put a two by six down at the bottom down here. That's a two by six. So in case I had any one that you know didn't come out, it would be. I'd rather scab a two by six and a two by ten. Man, lumber's expensive nowadays. Thank God I got a brother that owns a lumber store in <laughs> Jacob's Lumber. So, anyhow, there's the wife's car, our camper, a big black truck up there. So, that's what it looks like. Really proud of it. Talk to you later.